Almost half of A-level students are unsure or not confident that they understand how clearing works and don't understand how to gain a place at university if they have to go through clearing. So ladies, Christy and Emma, let's talk about Results Day. What exactly happens? I think Results Day is a massive stress for a lot of students. Obviously, UCAS track uploads to around six, seven o'clock in the morning. People can go online and find out what has happened to them, whether they've got a place at their chosen university, if they'd already applied through the main system. However, there are quite a few complications within that. Perhaps your university hasn't yet confirmed whether you have a place or they've just been a bit slow. So sometimes quite a few people find out, they log onto track, expect to find out the, the result but it might not always be there. And I think the big thing is just not to panic. And it does take time. It and does don't take think a it's just time. you, there are other people. And I imagine, Chrissy, knowing exactly what to expect as mm -hmm. best you can will help to keep people calm. Exactly. I mean, it's always better to be prepared um, because it's not always apparent that the advice is available in the schools, um, which is why, especially using the UCAS website um, just before and leading up to the clearing process, is actually really useful. I say, actually, the UCAS website and, and probably the student mm -hmm. room, actually, are the two best resources that that you can sort of use to get ahead and actually know what to expect. Fantastic. And um, we've got a question from a student. Let's take a look. What should you do if things don't go as well as expected? So I should imagine a concern for many if they just don't hit the grades that they were expecting to, what would they do next? Well, the first thing I'd say is don't panic. Um, there'll be thousands of students in the same position as you. Um, the most important thing to do is, is to actually check on UCAS track whether you've still been accepted by that institution. It's not a given if you just missed your grade that the university won't still take you. So there's no reason to panic at all. Um, obviously, if you don't miss your grade and you've checked on UCAS track and actually you have been rejected by your first choice university, obviously you've got your insurance choice um, institution, which again, if you've only just missed your grade, should probably pick you up. If for whatever reason you haven't made the grade and your firm choice and your insurance choice universities have rejected you, then you'll enter clearing automatically. Um, so when you check UCAS track um, under choices it'll actually give you your clearing number um, at that point. Um, so obviously the next step then is to seek advice and find out a little bit more about your options. That can be from your careers officer, from your school teachers, parents, guardians, siblings, anybody that you know that have been through the process before. The next thing to do is to check um, either the UCAS website um, or the Telegraph, both of which um, contain the definitive UCAS clearing uh, listings as well. Um, and then contact the university directly, speak to the admissions tutor. Um, no two universities teach exactly the same course, so even if it's the same subject and you're ringing a few different universities, speak to the admissions tutor and make an informed decision um, and then what will happen is you'll be offered a place assuming that you're um, the right pro you fit the right profile for that institution and then you have 48 hours well at London South Bank University you have 48 hours it may vary according to university um, in order to actually make your firm decision and what happens then is you log on to UCAS track um, click on choices and under clearing choice you add that institution but it's important to note that you can only do that um, one institution at a time and you won't be able to do that until 5 p.m. on results day. Fantastic. Let's turn it on its head though, of course. There will be people as well watching that have done far better than they ever expected. So what happens in that instance? Well, UCAS also offer a process called adjustment, um, which students can use if they've exceeded their firm offer. So say, for example, if you were given an offer of three Bs at A-level and actually you did really well and you got two As and a B at A-level, then at that point you would be eligible to use adjustment. And adjustment gives you a five-day window after your place has been confirmed where you can have a look around, have a look at different options, whilst remembering you've still got your firm place. So whichever university you were originally going to, You've still got that place, but you can have a look around, see what other options there are, and perhaps move to a different choice. Fantastic. Uh, we've got another question from a student. Let's have a look. How do you go through the clearing process and what do you have to do? What happens when you've been offered a place through clearing? So, fair enough question. Once you are then offered that place, mm -hmm. what happens? Um, well, it's important to remember that you might be offered more than one place because you're ringing around different institutions. Um, so it's important to find out from that institution how long you've got to make that decision before you actually put it on UCAS track as your first choice. Um, at London South Bank University, for example, um, we allow 48 hours for the student to make the decision because we realise it's a huge decision to make. Um, if you can get it in writing, ask the institution to just drop you a quick email so that you've got that confirmation. Once you've decided which institution you want to go to, you simply log on to UCAS track, um, click on choice and then click on um, 
my clearing choice um, and then you can input that institution's code in there and then that will be sent off to the university and all being well it should be confirmed. So really girls then the overriding message is to stay calm because we all make better decisions once Definitely. we are in a calm state of mind anyway. There are procedures in place and you just have to do your research and use a support system because it is there. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic, thank you.